So here we have the lens, or uh, the face filter we've been making, and it's horrifying. I'm, I'm sorry I made something so scary and horrifying. That's society's fault. Um, but what we need to do is test it out on a phone before we publish it for everyone to use. So it seems like it's going to be super cool up here, but we need to make sure that it's super cool on here. So this is my phone. This is going to get a little awkward because um, I'm going to use a phone to record a phone. Um, and I will go ahead and edit in and pop up that phone footage up here. Um, and that's how we will go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and click on pair your device. So up at the top right, there's this pair your device thing. I'm going to go ahead and click on it right there. Now make sure that you are signed into your Snapchat. You need to be signed into Snapchat to do this. So with pair your device clicked, we get this snap code up here and we need to scan this with Snapchat. So let's go ahead and start the recording on the other phone. There it is. There's my phone. Up here we have my Snapchat. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my Snapchat app. Um, and usually by default, just to show you, it likes to be on the face the facing camera, so that camera that's facing me. Um, but there is this up at the top right will take it to your back camera, and we use this to actually scan the code. All right, I'm gonna turn my, my phone to the side. I'm gonna go up to the computer. So there's my computer. Hey, that's, that's where I'm gonna overlay this. All right, and I hold my phone up to the snap code, and I just simply need to like press my thumb against the screen or press my finger. And you'll see, it'll do this thing, it'll give us this little ring, and it'll say, hey, do you want to pair this? And I'm going to click pair. And it is pairing. Sweet. Let's go ahead and, um, cool, we have paired it. And now, I am going to go ahead and come up to the, you'll see it says pairing device, and it says my device is paired. So it takes a little bit to do that, but once it gets there, it's good. And now, we're going to push this lens to device. I'm going to click on that, and sending lens so it's actually sending this to my device and when it comes through you'll see it pop up here that there's something ready and it sometimes takes a minute there we go snapchat it gave me that little thing that said my thing is ready to preview and on snapchat you'll usually see something like that down there i'm going to click on it and you see everything kind of got grainy but i need to switch the actual orientation camera so let's go ahead and click that around Boom. So it's nice and grainy and oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh man. Let's go ahead. Uh, it's working and it's as creepy as I had hoped it would be. Oh, I'm a horrifying monster. Oops, I accidentally hit the wrong thing. Yes, I am a clown monster. Hello, clown monster me. <sighs> so yay, it's working. That means I can stop doing this double video thing and stopped. So what I want to do is go into my project info here and you see where it says lens is made for front camera or rear camera. Rear camera is the camera that um, points out. We want the one pointing at us, which is the front camera. So I'm going to uncheck rear camera. And by doing that, it will only open on that camera pointed at our face. Now let's go ahead and change this name and I'm going to name it creepy clown um, that's a good name for it creepy clown and I'm gonna go ahead and click apply sweet um, we can also make let me go ahead actually go into project info we can make an icon for it or things like that I'm not gonna worry about that right now I might do that later so creepy clown that's good enough I'm gonna hit file save and now we're ready now we're ready to publish this lens to snapchat all right, in the next video, that's exactly what we'll do. See you very shortly.